Hello everyone. Let me get my camera. Here we go. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to access and look at the data for the STAR interim for English. Um, so here's the first way, texasassessment.gov. Click on educators. And you will find information about um, STAR testing. If you scroll down here after testing, the centralized reporting system, that's what you want to click on. And then I was already logged in. It may ask you to log in and then you're going to select your role. Okay, so we're going to look at reading, star interim reading, and click on star interim reading, and then I'm going to sort so I can get the, there we go. So there's English 1 and English 2. I'm going to use um, English 1, although the process is the same, so you could have clicked on e English 2 and that would have worked. This website contains a lot of information, and so it's slow to load. OK, now we're back. So see the standards keys? I'm going to reference that in just a little bit. But right now, I want to show you what you're going to see on the main page. So let me zoom this in a little bit. The first thing you're going to see is an overview of the ESC, Region 2, the student count, the average scale score, and then the predicted star performance. So that is a prediction based on how they did on the star interim. If we were to give them the actual star assessment, the end of course exam, and would they pass or fail? or approaches meets masters. And so right here, this looks like 56% of the Region 2 students would not pass the EOC. 17% would get approaches, 23% would get meets, and 4% would get masters. GCISD is pretty close to that. So 58% would not pass, 17% would approach, 21% would meets, and 4% would masters. Okay. So if you look here, there are seven tabs. The, the first one is five items on which students performed the best, items where they were the worst. And then the five reporting categories, four is not here. So you have reporting category one, two, three, five, and six. Four isn't here because reporting category four is the essay and they did not write an essay on the start interim. So let's expand the items on which students performed the best. So here are the item numbers. The standards keys, if you click on that, it will toggle on the TEKS. So you can see that question one, item number one, was 9DI. Cambium um, codes the standards with the grade level, the reporting category, and then the TEKS. So you have to look at the last two to see what it is. Also, if you click on the I, it'll give you more information. OK, so let's look at this one. So I can click on this. This is a hyperlink to the actual test question. So there it is. There's the test question. Rubric and resources will tell you um, the same information that you got when you click the I. It's not really interesting when you're looking at the whole group, but when you break it down by um, roster, 
that's when it becomes more more detailed. So let's let's look at that example. So we're going to look at English two. I mean, um, English one. Sorry. Okay, so now we can see by student what their scale score was, the overall raw score, and the probability of their getting approaches, meets, or masters. So this student has a high probability of getting masters in February. So if this student is already here in November, then there can only they can only go up, right? So the test form is they okay, so what they did, Cambium gave a test similar to, but not exactly like MAP, where students answered the first 15 questions, all students answered the same 15 questions, and then 16 through 30 or 16 through 35 was based on how well they did the on the um, prior question, right? So if you have a high form, that means that they were doing really well. Medium form means they were hit and miss, and then low form means that they weren't getting a lot right. And so when you look at your high, that's what that high, medium, low means, um, is you know how well they were doing on the test. OK, don't forget to toggle the standards key so you can see the, the teaks. OK, if you are an Excel nerd like I am, then I want to show you how you can get all of this into a CSV. Oh, wait, before I do that, I want to show you this. So 59, here's item number 59. Remember, there were only 35 questions on the test. So this would be one of those that not all students got. So how do you know? So if you click on 59, this gives you the question, right? And then under rubric and resources, if you click on that, there should be a frequency distribution number right here. There it is. So this looks like only five students. And th this class that I'm looking at, this has 111 students who took that test, took the STAR interim. So only five got that question. The zero, these are points earned. So nobody missed it. Everybody got it right. So the five students who did get um, item number 59 answered it correctly. Okay, now I'll show you how to um, get it into Excel. So you hit print. And then you want summary and item scores. And then you want to save to CSV, which is the comma separated values, and then confirm, and it will download it. And then you can get it into Excel. This will take a minute. This will automatically show up. You can exit out, and it will appear in your inbox when it's ready. This inbox where it has the down arrow will turn into a one when it is ready. Lots, lots of data, lots of information. Um, okay, that's it. Let me know if I can help.